Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Get Good. My name is Ian, and joined by Samantha today to talk about the topic of singing. Welcome, Samantha. Thank you, Ian. So, Samantha, we we are trying to share with our viewers about the topic of singing.、Mm-hmm. So, before we get into like the detail of you know how to practice and so、mm-hmm. on, tell us how you first got. Involved with singing, I would say it was when I was in grade three. The teacher starting a choir, and she was looking for students to join. And in our music class, she started to pick students, and I was one of them. And after I would say my first audition, I. Was picked、okay. to be in the choir. Great three. Great three. Wow.、Yes. Now, usually, you know, when we were young, we may not keep up with certain activities,、mm-hmm. and I suppose singing is something that you kept with it, and then you kept practicing, and that's how you're able to sing so well. So, were you singing all along throughout elementary school, high school, and beyond? Yes, I was lucky enough to be picked and join the choirs when I was in elementary school and then in high school, because I attended church schools. The first one is Anglican in Hong Kong, and then I came to Canada and I was going to a Catholic school. And in、okay. the school there was also a choir, and my music teacher also picked me to be one of the members in her choir. So I was really lucky that it wasn't my intention to keep up with singing. Just that by chance,、okay. I was singing all my school life. Okay, and and in in the Catholic school, there's a lot of singing involved. Right, because when when we are schooling here,、uh, there's barely any singing unless you're in your in music class. Not in class, right? public school, but、okay. in the Catholic school, because、okay. we have to sing in the mass、mm-hmm. every week. We have、oh, okay. a mass session, and then the choir would sing a couple of hymns、right. uh, for the mass. Right, right, right. So, so there's lots of chance to practice.、Uh, yes,、okay. not not. By myself, but、uh, with the choir as, yes. as, as a group, yeah, yeah. Because、yes. probably I, I think back, back then when I was young in elementary school here,、uh, there was barely a, a chance for us to practice、mm. singing, right? right? Because maybe there's one music class every week.、Mm-hmm. That that's about it. But、right. uh, good, it's good to see that、uh, that's where that foundation was established.、Mm-hmm. Very cool. Now, right now, I'm just interested. What kind of、uh, songs you like singing? Because I know you have a diverse, very diverse、uh, collection of songs that you like to perform. Yes, I like old songs.、Okay. Um, in the days of Doris Day, Peggy Lee, something like Kay Sera Sera, even Frank Sinatra,、mm. Tony Bennett, and. Ada James, the ones that I like the most is "At Last."、Mm-hmm. That's my feature song <laughs> now. I also like Whitney Houston's、okay. "Celine Dion."、Okay. Uh, the singer I I like the most would be Linda Ronstadt. She has a very versatile voice and very wide variety of song choices, and her voice was really powerful. So she would be my most favorite singer. Because of her, it got me into other song styles too. Oh, very cool. That's why.、Um, yeah, I like all kinds of songs. Oh, new! I even sing、uh, lullabies for my grandkids. <laughs> for grandkids, yeah. And、uh, all the twinkle, twinkle little star. I like those too. Of course,、uh, hymns.、Mm-hmm. I started with that、uh, folk songs because、okay. a couple years ago、uh, we play Vincent. Vincent, that's yes, right. Yes, that's、uh, one of that's the. That's during our online concert、uh, of、right. uh, the previous year. Yes, I do like Peter Paul and Mary when 
in the 60s and 70s, they were very popular. Fantastic. Now, singing is not something that I'm familiar with because I, I have a terrible voice. And no matter how hard I try singing, I just can't seem to get the right notes. What's the magic behind how to get good with your voice in singing in particular? I don't know actually because I never really practice okay. besides if I have a concert to do mm -hmm. or a fundraiser to to have a song or two to sing. I, I'm the laziest person <laughs> on earth so I don't practice at all but I do think that singing would be a very nice thing thing to entertain people because all of us have a voice regardless you said that your voice is not good you do have one or two favorite tunes you can hum with it to start with okay and people said oh well, i don't have any rhythm at all you walk if you don't have rhythm you wouldn't be able to walk right safely right, right? Yep. you'll be tumbling yep. all over that's right so, when you are singing, it's the same thing. Just do one sound or one note at a time, and you will get it. And don't pick the hardest song, or I don't think there would be any hard song, but it's not appropriate or not fit for me. Right, I would right. like to pick something that I like, and then it's not hard for me okay. to sing. What, what do you consider as hard and what do you consider as easy for those who are just starting to, to uh, practice singing? If you don't practice for the opera songs mm. or the classical songs, then I don't think that you can carry a tune okay. or carry one of those tunes. Right, right. But for any popular songs, be it in any language, if you like it, you don't have to know the words. Just hum right. the melody to start with and to see if you can carry them. Just twinkle, twinkle, little star. Right, right. Don't have yeah. to put the words in it. Just hum it first and get the rhythm, get the melody mm -hmm. first, and then add the word. Just like Julie Andrews in The Sound of Music. Mm -hmm. She started with the notes and then the words right that's so right. that's the way to do don't really have to pay a lot of money for a voice teacher right right unless you want to really be a professional mm. but i still don't think a lot of the professional um really have a good voice mm. name to share and Madonna, <laughs> they their voice is not very good if right. you, you you want to say whose voice is good, Whitney right. Houston, yep. Linda right. Ronstead, they are good voices. They, they do have their own style, their tune may be very catchy, and their just overall beat of the song is very uh, uplifting, uh, but in terms of the the singing, like how, the voice, yeah. how deep it goes or how melodic it goes, yeah, that's, uh, well, that's up to... Uh, that's why you don't have to have a good voice to sing, okay. or to be popular, neither. So just keep humming, keep singing, and you will get it. So, so there's another song that just came into my mind. Mm -hmm. um, it, it, it was a guy singing a song. Okay, you guys ever heard the song? Starts with like, I'm too sexy for myself, yes. right? That entire song is so repetitive, and yes. it's nonetheless, you, you find it entertaining. Right? I, I, I yeah. like that song a lot, but then there's actually not much to the singing technique, right? We no. just, we, but we still find it yes. entertaining. It's, it's really the amazing. beat, isn't it? So if you can walk, you can just do that. That's right. And it doesn't have to have a very elaborate melody to a song too. Some of, some of them are very simple. Right. Like I said, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, yeah. all this kids songs start with, start something with them easy. Yeah, yeah start with something start easy with and, and work your way mm -hmm. and then there's one question i want to ask you about lyrics like you don't seem to 
look at the lyrics uh, when you perform. You have them all memorized. Now that that is difficult, especially I remember uh, practicing Vincent with you. Vincent, they got uh, like new words every uh, verse, every yes. chorus, right? How um, how do you manage to to memorize so so many words? For me, if words with melody, it seems like it's easier to remember. Okay. If you ask me to memorize a skit with no melody, it's harder for mm-hmm. me. I don't know why. Maybe it's a habit. Because I think if you sing with a piece of paper in front of you, it takes away your interpretation and mm. your imagination of the words of the song. But once you mem- well, once I memorize it, I can just focus on the words instead of right. looking or reading from the piece of paper. And it's not as distracting for the audience too. Okay. So... That's it's a right. habit, I and, think. And more often, you you relate the words uh, into a story, and you're telling a story as the music comes along, right? Yes. So that's definitely. basically your strategy. And then sometimes the same song may not feel the same, or may not you may not interpret the same way as the last time you sing it. It depends on your mood. Interesting. Depends on what happened to you the day. That mm-hmm. before you sing, right. a happy song may sound sad to you if you had something bad or something sad happen that day. But a sad song may not be so sad if you, in the morning, something happy or something right. good right. happened to you. It's just Very the interpretation, but there's no right or wrong to a song. And... Yeah, it's the, all the, very the main thing personal is and individual. Play around with the song and try different emotions, practice humming it, and I think that that's a great yeah. head start for that's all right. you folks who are watching. Mm-hmm. Right now, I have we're past the tenth minute mark, so thank you, Samantha. Thank you for uh, joining us today. Now, do you have any advice for people who are just starting out in their journey of thing- singing? Don't stop. Keep going. Like I said, hum it first. If you think that the words are too complicated, mm-hmm. hum it. Go with stepping. Yep. Go with Get that walking. Get rhythm going. Yep. Yeah. If you take a walk, just hum it while you're walking. Yep. You'll get the rhythm. Yeah. And uh, we also have this singing club every Thursday at 1.30. So I am playing guitar. I'm just playing the guitar and a lot of people are singing along. So if you're interested, any of you are interested, come on, drop by Thursday, 1.30 and here at our city. Yes. I'll see you then. Huh? Thank you for joining. Thank you, Samantha. Thank you. Have a good one.